One of the things I learned in politics was measurement. Anybody that was involved in politics uh, learned pretty quickly that you came up on a period of time called an election and it occurred in two years or six years depending on the office you had and if you weren't successful you went home and the way finally we realized to be successful was that you had to have measurement and by measurement you had to have a real clear understanding of what the public thought now in those days people took that into account and it was a data point Sadly, today, I'm afraid it's probably a little bit too much of the driving force behind decision making, but in those days it was a data point, and it still is. Uh, but one of the things that was interesting to me is that I did this in politics, and although I worked for a U.S. Senator, I avoided the idea of going to Washington for any length of time and being part of the establishment because I really felt like that there was a public outside the beltway that in politics, the ability to understand it was critical to success. And so from my home base in Austin, Texas, I did political campaigns all over the country for U.S. Senate and governors, and, and, it, was quite, and it was a successful time in my life, but it was also one that helped me understand clearly about the public. So one of the things you're going to hear from me tonight is the importance of the public. In public relations, the most important thing about public relations, in my opinion, is the public. And I learned that in politics. I'm not ashamed of having been in politics. Today, unfortunately, it kind of has a bad reputation. I'm actually very proud of it. Uh, there were some wonderful men and women working alongside me. I worked for them. Uh, and it was a formative part of my life that plays a significant role in what I say, do, and think today. Um, I think that um, founding public strategies in 1988, as you heard, with one employee, two employees, myself and one other, one client, Southwest Airlines, which at the time flew to three or four states, I got a $500 contract from a guy that I knew growing up in San Antonio named Herb Kelleher, the legendary founder and chairman of Southwest Airlines, who called me and said I'd, I'd known him when I worked for Senator Vincent. He called me and he says, I don't really know what you're going to do in your new firm. And he said, um, but I'm comfortable with the fact that you don't either. <laughs> so this will be a partnership and I'll give you these airplane tickets and $500 a month and this can be your seat and it, it, it began a career where we ended up at public strategies doing business all over the world sold it to Martin Sorrell for $90 million and almost every one of our clients were 500 fortune 500 clients when we were doing something that I thought was very special at the time which was we were providing counsel to them about their interactions with the public. Now, in the early days of public strategies, it was a public affairs firm, um, what is known today as a public affairs firm. In those days, we didn't know what public affairs was. But what we really did was took the notion that the public had a critical role to play in anything going on that impacted a government, a political discussion or some sort of outcome affecting a company and the role of the public we thought was more important than anything else. So in Texas in public strategies in the early 90s we began the model that you see today of using a political campaign technique to establish legislative initiatives and we ran television spots and did what you will now think of as buggy whip uh, days, but we did direct mail and television spots. But at the beginning of the process was measurement, where every time we did something in the public affairs business, we used the measurement of understanding what the public thought. It was the forerunner of what you've seen now all over the U.S. and all over the world. By the time I sold it, it was the largest independent firm of its kind anywhere in the world. 
and its foundation was understanding the public and understanding the measurement. 